Good morning and happy Tuesday. Welcome to another weekly vlog. No, I did not vlog yesterday on Monday. Yesterday was a really, really heavy, heavy admin day. I spent all day long working on my content calendar for May, um, determining where things were going on which channels. And I have finally made a decision on where I want our community to be. I have myself all nice and dressed and ready for, well, not fully dressed. I need to show you my outfit, but I'm not wearing it just yet. I'm still in my pajamas, but I do have my makeup on. I just did my hair. I am going to clean the horrible mess that is my room right now. Um, before I get started, we are going to do a quick unboxing and then we are going to, uh, I am going to shoot my content for tomorrow's video, for Wednesday's video. I am really, really glad that I didn't vlog yesterday. I just needed to sit down and really, really focus on my content calendar for May. I always try and plan my content out a month in advance, and I try to do that at mid-month. So, you know, mid-April, that's when I should have sat down to plan out my May content calendar. Um, but I was a week late. And uh, that's just because I've taken a couple of road trips, you know, and stuff like that. No big deal. I just needed to get it done because it was cluttering my mind. We're going to do some cooking this week. I know that I haven't done, I didn't do any cooking last week. Don't remember if I did cooking the week before that. I don't think I did. So we are also going to do some cooking this week, but I do need to take a minute to clean up my room, get it ready for filming. So I am going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to get dressed. When I come back, I will show you my outfit. My outfit today, uh, feeling the gingham. So I'm wearing my green and white gingham top that I got from Target. Absolutely love this one. Guys, if you can still get your hands on it, I would. It is such a beautiful top. And it doesn't have to be in gingham. I think they have it in solid colors as well. I tie it up in a little knot on the side here because I really like how that looks. I am wearing my white wide leg pants from Eloqui. And then I am wearing my sandals that I got from Nordstrom. These are the Andre Asule. I don't know. I will have it listed in the description bar down below. Um, I love these little sandals. These are going to be part of my summer, spring, summer shoe haul. Um, but I had to bust them out because I just really like them for wearing around the house. Um, they're a thong sandal and they are fantastic. They are really more comfortable than I thought they would be. And they are, sorry about that. They are in an espadrille style with an elastic band on it and a really nice tan leather strap um so yeah that is the outfit du jour i do have to change from this outfit here in a little bit because i will be shooting but i am doing an unboxing let me go ahead and turn you around i am doing an unboxing here in just a minute got my h m stuff got the rest of the mango order i think that's all oh and my cloth and paper subscription service which i don't know if you guys know about cloth and paper if you are stationary nerds you need to get over to their website and look around that is like the best stationery, some of the best stationery out there. There are others that do good stationery as well, but really, really, really love cloth and paper. I always look forward to my subscription box from cloth and paper because they always give you such really cool things. So hopefully you guys um, can nerd out with me or you'll at least tolerate my stationery nerdiness for a few minutes. So I'm going to get you guys set up and then we're going to start the unboxing. Just wanted to show you that I've got Mr. Pickles here who is being stubborn and will not get off my brand new linen pants. Son, what are you doing? That's what I get for having a mess on my bed. But anyway, let's get to the unboxing. All right, so I got you propped up on an Amazon box. Hopefully you don't fall. <laughs> Cloth and paper. Um, let's see what came in this month's subscription box. Uh, like I said, always very, very exciting stuff. Um, I've got a little card here. Oh. I have a pen. Every month they send one of these cards. It's a 8 by 11 and it says, I learned a long time ago, the wisest thing I can do is be on my own side. Love that. Always so motivational. Um, we've got just a kind of like a marbleized dashboard for my planner. And uh, like I said, they sent me a pen. I'm not a part of their pen subscription, but they've included one. This one, this says erasable gel pen. I don't know. I remember erasable pens back in the 80s and I never liked them. They never had good ink. They skipped a lot. Then we have got some page, 
some transparent page flags in a color called Cortado. I guess that's the color name. So it's just these little transparent page flags that I can put to flag pages in my planner. And then we've got some journal cards and a transparent little calendar card. Um, ooh, very cool. I have a grid notepad which um, I use notepads all the time to jot down notes, make lists, things like that. Then I have got their arrow sticky notes in a different color. This color is called Angora. Love that. I have a different color. I think it's mocha or something. It's like a brown color. And then we have a see-through dashboard that's a, that has the word Elysian. Beautiful or creative, divinely inspired, inspired, peaceful, and perfect. Love that. And then we've got another dashboard on decorating your space and with a, like a, like a schematic. Mm, very cool. And then another dashboard for that says self-cultivation, noun, gradual process of acquiring knowledge, the effort of developing one's physical and mental capabilities. So very cool there. And then we have got home refresh renovation pages, which I'm not planning on doing any home renovations at the moment. Although I am going to be painting this wall back here, I think. What do you think? I'm tired of the gray. It is so dark where I'm at for such a long part of the year that this gray actually makes the room a lot darker, I think. And given that I'm shooting in here all the time, um, I'm considering painting this wall white or it's actually like a white with a slight pink undertone to it. What are your thoughts? Lighten it? I think so. I think that, uh, you know, what I wear will pop against it better and it will help to brighten the room. So it's going to help, I think, from a lighting perspective as well. So let me know because in the winter, it does get very dark in here. So that was a quick cloth and paper subscription box unboxing. We're going to move on to the mango stuff, the other items. It's a pant and a skirt. I ordered one of each. This completes my mango order. I will be doing that haul next week. So another pair of linen pants uh, because I'm just trying them out to see what they're like. These are kind of like, they're almost like a sagey green. I'm not pulling them out of the packaging yet because I will prep the mango order when it gets closer to being time for that haul. I got a rib knit skirt with really cool buttons on it. And it's like a, it looks maybe blue in the packaging. I think it's black. Uh, but it kind of looks blue on camera too. I don't remember. But anyway, that is the rest of the mango order. Then I made an order on H&M because I have not tried their plus size stuff in ever. But since I'm doing my brand research on plus size offerings and extended size offerings, I decided to go ahead and uh, place an order because I want to see what they're all about, see if they're worth it and uh, do the investigation for you guys. So it was a pretty sizable order. So I've got quite a bit and I will be undoing the wrapping because I am going to be steaming that and uh, doing that for today's video. So I'm just gonna open up the bag. Oh, it's a pair of pants and they're almost like jersey pants. They're like sweatpants a little bit. Ooh, very cool. Very nice. Um, they feel very soft and um, they're gonna be too long probably though. I can already tell you that. And then, it's like Christmas, I placed so many orders recently, shamefully, that I don't even remember what I ordered. But I did get a variety of things because, of course, this is trying the brand. Oh, another pair of linen pants. <laughs> I'm linen pant crazy. But I got these in a navy blue. I don't have a dark pair of linen pants. I only have a light pair and the ones from Mango were like a sagey green. And these have a little cuff at the bottom. Then I know I ordered a top or a dress of some sort. It's a baby doll dress. I don't know that this one is gonna work because it looks really short. We shall see. But it's in this beautiful, um, you know, Swiss dot type fabric. And then I got a cami. Um, from them another one because I don't have a lace cami and uh, I needed it. I bought myself a really pretty little lace cami and it is also slightly pleated. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I ordered a little bra top. So I wanted to try this out um, again to wear underneath um, things that are a little bit too low cut and also just to wear around the house because 
you know, I don't always want to wear a bra and like, you know, a full on bra. This is wireless. It's got padding in it and you can take the padding out. It has a little slit here. It's just a little black bralette that um, I thought that I could wear. I like the idea of wearing this under like sheer white clothes. I think that's kind of sexy. And then um, a dress. Ooh, that's a lot of fabric. All right. Yeah, this is a maxi dress. It's in a really pretty pale butter yellow and it's very billowy um, and uh, really nice. I hope it fits and it's super long. So that's going to be cool. And then a top. Oh, this is so cute. I like this. I hope it works out because it is very nice. It is super lightweight. It is an eyelet type um, fabric. I got this top in, oh, it's a dress. Oh my God, that's right. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. So got that. Everything at H&M is so affordable. So it, I got a lot for not a lot of money. I saw Fashion Mumbler trying a dress with this fabric. Not this dress specifically, but a dress with this fabric. I liked it. She didn't. It's got like crisscross um, straps and all of that. Um, I figured I would give it a shot. I really like the colorway in this dress with the purple and yellow and orange flowers on a black backdrop. So excited to try that on for you guys. Then I got myself a couple of t-shirts. They sell them in packs for my spring shoe edit, which is going to be massive because I just placed a huge Zara order of nothing but shoes. And so, um, I got these really pretty pink espadrilles. They're in a slightly blushy pink. Um, another pair of espadrille style shoe. I wanted to try out the quilted trend. And so I got these and they are, they do have a little bit of a platform. And then another pair of shoes that I am going to haul for you guys are these. And um, they are a pair of, again, another Bottega Bonera dupe, you know, the quilted shoe. That is all the rage right now. Um, when it comes to trends, I don't go high end on a trend right away. I try it out. I try it out with um, a retailer that's offering it at a lower price. And then if I like the trend and if the trend sticks around, then I will make the investment in, you know, an actual expensive pair of shoes. These quilt, This quilted style has been around for a couple of seasons. I don't know that it's going to be around for the long haul. That's why I'm like, mm, I don't think I would even invest in a true blue pair of Bottegas, but I do like the look and this is definitely getting the look for less. All right, so that was everything in the haul. I am going to now um, clean up and get this uh, stuff steamed and ready for shooting. I was watching some YouTube and it made me cry. I was watching Miss Louie, um, her birth, birthing vlog, and it was just, wow. She went all out and it was beautiful. But anyway, whew, um, I am done with the shooting. We had some hits. We had some misses, as I thought. Um, I definitely have opinions about H&M, but uh, I will save them for my final roundup. Now I am going to clean up the mess and then I'm going to go downstairs and have some lunch. It is late. What time is it? It is almost four o'clock. Holy crap. Wow, the day went. I'm gonna have a snack then. Um, and then um, I'm gonna start editing. So off I go to go and do all of that. Hungry, oh my God, I'm so hungry. I haven't, eat, I haven't eaten all day. So I've only had coffee. Um, by the way, I'm gonna sit for this, hang on. I just wanted to talk a little bit about my health journey that I am starting uh, actually started yesterday after going to the Olympic Peninsula last week and doing some hiking it was really a lot harder than it used to be when I was more fit um, and I'm not even going to say younger because age has nothing to do with it um, it has to deal with fitness level uh, when I last went to Ruby Beach I had been going to a personal trainer for you know 
years and uh, going, you know, twice a week to do personal training. I was doing cardio four to five, maybe six times a week at that time. And it was not a problem. It was not a problem at all. I could get up, I could get up that hill without any kind of issue. And then um, when we went this last time, it was hard. I had to take a break up halfway up. Um, and uh, I was just like, okay, I need to get a grip. I need to get a grip on my health and my fitness. And so I made the decision that, you know, next week, so this week, I'm going to start taking steps to improve my health and uh, get more fit. So I am starting out slow. I am actually doing some intermittent fasting. Right now I'm at 12 hour interval to start. I don't know if I'll go up to 14 hour interval. I have had some coffee this morning, so I did break my fast, but I broke it about uh, 12 hours and 15 minutes um, after my last meal yesterday. I like intermittent fasting for a lot of reasons. I think for those of us women who are over 40 and dealing with menopause, I think intermittent fasting helps with that. At least that's what I have seen. That's what I have heard other women experience. As for me, I've done intermittent fasting. Oh, I probably did it last year sometime and for about four weeks and I felt really really good and what I like about intermittent fasting and I've done a lot of research on it not to say that I am a nutritionist or an expert in any way shape or form this is all just research that I did for myself and I'm just sharing what I learned um it's supposed to help with cell renewal. It helps with weight loss. It helps with menopause. It helps with cancer and cancer prevention. Um, it's got a lot of different health benefits to it. And so I am really excited to get back on the intermittent fasting uh, program. And what I really like about IF is that you can adjust the goalposts. You know, it's not set in stone that, you know, you have to stop eating at 7.30 p.m. every day. You know, you can adjust your goalposts as needed because sometimes I do eat late in the evening, which is not good. I'm trying to bring the eating time, dinner time up by a couple of hours so that we're not eating any later than uh, 7.30. Yesterday it was 8.30. So I didn't quite make it, but you know, I, I know that I can adjust. But uh, anyway, I'm starting out with IF and then um, I think in the next week or so I'm going to start cutting back the carbs. Not cutting out carbs. I have done keto in the past and it works really, really well, but it's not sustainable uh, for me as a lifestyle. So and I don't want to use it as a weight loss method either. I want to incorporate these habits into my everyday life. And so um, I'm going to cut back the carbs. I'm not going to fully cut them out um, and uh, start eating more complex carbohydrates. So things like fruit and brown rice and, you know, quinoa and things like that that are a little bit more beneficial than all of the white foods that are out there like pasta, you know, uh, just regular pasta, not whole wheat pasta is not bad, um, but um, regular pasta and uh, sugars and things like that. So I am on a health journey. Then I think after that, I will phase in working out. I've got a Peloton bike that just is sitting there idle. I need to get on it and use it and um, take advantage of the fact that I've got that. And then uh, also Peloton with the app, you get all kinds of other workouts like yoga and strength and core and all of that type of stuff. So, um, I will start incorporating that into my routine. But for now, I like to always start out with food, you know, with getting the diet under control first and then bringing in the exercise. Um, not waiting for too long, of course. I'll probably start working out next week sometime. But um, just wanted to let you guys know that. And already I feel a lot better. All right, I'm going to go and eat because my stomach is eating itself. Okay, everybody. So it has been a long day. Um, and I have been highly productive, though. Super happy about that. Got a lot done. Um, and still was working on editing the video. And um, so now I think I'm going to call it for the day. I'm exhausted. And uh, I might show you what I'm having for dinner. So outside of that, though, I think I'm going to check out for the blog for the day. And I will talk with you guys again tomorrow. Bye.
Hello, happy Wednesday. It has been a busy day. I have spent the day editing and getting my H&M haul video up. Now I am going to be taking some time to clean my filming room. I will show you the disaster that it is. When it comes to filming, it's like I am, like I move the mess from, from one room and then back so that that way my bed is clear and everything. But then at the end of the day, I haven't sorted anything out and it ends up getting landing back in this room. So I am once and for all going to clean up the mess. I've got to pull together my returns. There are a few things that I am returning from Eloqui and then definitely about 50% of what I got from H&M is going back. I still haven't done my shoe haul yet. That is coming as soon as I get my Zara order. I think it is out. I don't know <clears throat> how long it's going to take. Now I do know that I have been hauling quite a bit and not doing very many styling videos but trust me they are coming. I just wanted to get this big rush of investigation done into my uh, my plus size brand roundup that I am working on. I appreciate you being patient. I think you guys have been enjoying the hauls, but I know that you guys also enjoy watching styling videos. So I will be getting back to that. And what I have decided to do for the month of May is that you will be getting a haul on a certain day of the week and a styling video on another day of the week. The vlogs, of course, are on Sundays, and that includes a little bit of styling because I'm, I'm showing you what it is that I am wearing while I am here at home working. That is I believe the cadence that I am going to be taking on in the next month to see how it works out. Right now, today, it's going to be all about cleaning up. I want to be sure that I am ready to go tomorrow for shooting content. I have got a pretty intense day of content creation tomorrow. I'm going to be shooting my mango haul now that everything is here. I am going to be shooting a Mother's Day gift guide because that's coming up. It's right around the corner and that is Friday's video and I want to be sure that I am 100% ready that I don't have to waste any time steaming things or getting things ready. I want my room to be clean. So that's what we're working on now. It's going to be a long day today and it'll probably be a long day tomorrow as well. I do apologize that I didn't bring you along for the editing. You've seen me edit and it just you know it's kind of boring so now that i'm actually up and moving i am ready to show you my outfit du jour so hopefully the lighting isn't bad i am going with an old favorite this is a um a blue, navy blue and white polka dot dress that i have from old navy and i am once again wearing my little sandals from nordstrom they are i think his name is andre assont or something like that i'm probably mispronouncing it but um yeah so those are the little shoes that i'm wearing this is the dress that i'm wearing i love this little dress it is a one and done kind of dress i do have to pin it shut though because it will fly open it is um a half wrap up here at the top but it's a comfortable dress comfortable enough for me to work it's not exactly warm outside but it's not exactly cool either and of course i'm inside right now anyway so that is the outfit. I don't, oh yes, I do have earrings. So today for earrings, I opted for silver and they're just some silver um, crystal type hoops. I think I got these from Target um, years ago, uh, but if I find something similar, I will link it. But yeah, every now and again, I don't mind doing silver. Let me show you what I have as far as my the disaster that my room is. I have a small little day bed. This is a guest room, but for the most part, I use it as my filming room. And this is what I have on my bed right now. All of the stuff, clothes that I've worn, clothes that need washing, clothes that I've hauled. It is just a hot mess. Then I've got my cloth and paper stuff. I have some old boxes. And then I have all of this that I need to sort through and my mango haul. I really need to take some time to clean off my vanity slash desk. I'm thinking of making it more of a desk than a vanity. There is a lot to do in this room before I can say I am good and done. That is everything that I've got to deal with. I'm going to put my hair up because I don't like necessarily working with my hair down. It gets in my face and I am wearing gloss so it will get caught up in the gloss. The curls are very very tight still. Um, I used my Dyson yesterday. On the H&M video you're going to see that the curls are just doing whatever they want to do because I had just done my hair. I love my Dyson Airwrap guys. I know I keep talking about it and I, I would do a demo for you if you're interested 
Um, I've got the complete, so I've got the different brushes and everything, but I really, really love that tool. I think it's probably the best hair tool I've ever purchased. Um, actually, I didn't buy it. I got it as a Christmas gift, but it's the best hair tool that I've ever used. So anyway, let me go ahead and stop rambling. I am procrastinating getting all of this work done. So uh, like I said, I'm going to set you down. Then I'm going to get started. I did say that I was going to haul this as part of my H&M haul. It didn't fit and I didn't want to like stretch it out of shape. So I didn't even include it in the haul. I tried to get it over my head and my arms and I was just like, no. This was omitted from the haul on purpose. That was quite the marathon. Ooh, and that's because I'm not done yet. I still have to um, steam all of the mango stuff. If you guys like watching me steaming clothes? Let me know. I've done this in every vlog, I think. Let me know if you enjoy watching me prep for a haul video all the way through like to the steaming and stuff like that since you guys have seen it again and again. I'm gonna go ahead and, ahead and do that now. It's getting warm in this room. Ooh, I think I'm gonna open the window. Um, the weather can't seem to decide what it wants to do. Does it want to be sunny? Does it want to be cloudy? Does it want to be cool? Does it want to be warm? Does it want to be cold? It's run the gamut this past week. So anyway, uh, we are in mostly cloudy skies now. Bummer. All right, so final check-in on the room. I've got my H&M pile. I have to return these espadrilles to Nordstrom. And then I've got these. This pile is for Elo Eloquy. So now I've got them nice and arranged and I can get them boxed up and over to the post office. I think I am going to call it for the day. I've had a long, busy, busy day, but I'm really super excited and happy about it. So yes, I'm going to go downstairs, chill out for a bit. I have to wash my dishes because tomorrow I am making spicy orange margaritas for you guys. Show you how to do it. Cinco de Mayo is next week and um, thought I would include a margarita recipe in the lineup for this week so that you have time to get yourself your supplies if you want to uh, make yourself some margaritas for Cinco. Uh, sadly, but not so sadly, uh, I am getting vaccinated on May the 5th, so I will not be able to participate in Cinco de Mayo festivities. I may actually do the Cinco de Mayo festivities tomorrow when I make that batch of margaritas since it is Thursday, you know, thirsty Thursday. And uh, yeah, so that is what is coming tomorrow. So I've got to get my kitchen ready so that you guys don't see that horrible mess that is currently in my kitchen. So anyway, that is all for today. I will talk with you again tomorrow. Good morning and happy Thursday. My goodness, the week is just flying by and um, just wanted to check in. I am made up and ready to start shooting content today. It is going to be a big sh shooting day. It's going to be an exhausting day, although I think that I could probably be done by two o'clock. I'm not wearing my outfit of the day just yet. I haven't gotten dressed because I'm going to be shooting the mango try on bits right now. And so um, I don't have my outfit. I will show you what I am wearing once I am done. Got to put some finishing touches on my room to clean it up and then I'm going to get to shooting. So I guess uh, I will talk with you on the other side. Before I start shooting though, I wanted to show you this. Mr. Pickles and Mr. Marshall. Um, are cuddling together. They're just taking a little mid-morning cat nap. They're so cute. But boy, they are a handful, I'm telling you. But still, totally adorable. And then over here, we've got Miss Coco, who is looking out the window. All right, done with the filming. Let me show you my outfit of the day. Okay, so I couldn't resist. I have to wear this little top from H&M that I hauled in my video. I've got it tucked into my wide leg pin tuck pants from Eloqui. And then for shoes, I am wearing my, I'm wearing my by far Tanya sandal, 
love 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 these sandals um i love this top guys i am so excited to have it i am going to be wearing it on repeat all summer long if you guys haven't seen my h m haul you need to go check it out i'm also posting this on like to know it because it is a keeper and it is a stunner and i this is like the perfect summer top i think especially if you want to um, participate in the trends but want to look office appropriate not that i'm going anywhere today but this is what I decided to to pair it up with. Okay, here's the full outfit. And here is my necklace. I like how it tucks into the V of this top. Uh, I'm not going to tie the strings. I'm just not about that. But uh, like I said, I don't think they'll get in my way. And if they do, I will just cut them off. My earrings are pretty simple. Just my baby hoops from Madewell. My little small chunky gold hoops from Madewell. Love them. They're my favorites. And uh, yeah, so now I'm going to actually, not all the recording is done. Now I've got to do the sit down bits, the talking bits. And um, I think I'm going to keep the lip. I was going to change it out, but I think I'm going to keep it. Mm, and I don't think I'm going to gloss it. I was going to, but changed my mind. Anyway, all right. So off to finish up my filming, get myself set up, and uh, I will check in with you guys again later. All of my filming has been done for the day that I'm going to do. I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I'm not sure what time it is. <laughs> but anyway, I do have a quick unboxing that I wanted to do with you guys. Yes, I know it seems like I'm constantly unboxing, but with all of the hauls that I have been doing, it's no wonder. And uh, we're going to look at some shoes today. It's just a couple of things, not a lot really. All right, so couple of shoes that I got from Amazon. This is from Amazon The Drop, which is, I think, influencer selected items or influencer designed items or something like that. I should read up on it. I saw a couple pair in The Drop that I absolutely, absolutely loved. And the first pair are these. Now, I really like my little Chanel dupes, the, the little um, slingback low heeled Chanel dupes, but I saw these on Amazon and they're in suede and I was like, you know, I wear mules so much. I've got to try these. Now they do have a tiny little kitten heel. Usually my shorter heels are never this short, but I do believe, well, actually this is shorter than the actual slingback that I have, but I still think that this is workable, something that I can wear and use. Um, pickles, pickles. Don't you dare move her. You share the window. Anyway, sorry. The cats are getting a little crazy because I've got the window open and they all want to see what's going on. It's very warm in my room today. But anyway, really, really love these little shoes and I will be talking about them in that video. Like I said, I don't normally go for a heel quite that short, but... There's always a first time for any everything, right? And I imagine that these are going to be pretty comfortable considering the heel size, but we'll see what happens here in the toe box. I really, really like them. This is a very, very classic style that, you know, you can't go wrong with. Tan and black, they're going to go with so many different things. So, um, yeah, I picked these little guys up. Then the next pair of shoes that I picked up are these. I really like these. I needed a shoe to match match up with my mango bag that I just recently got and so I picked these up because I wanted to try out the quilted trend and I've got quite a few now coming with this quilted trend and this one has a sizable heel though I think this this is a three and a half inch heel eh, thereabouts maybe three inch heel and which is my max I don't do anything really taller than a three inch heel and I wanted to try these out to see what they were like they have a slightly squared toe and um, they are in this really pretty, lovely toffee color, which I think is a good match for that mango bag. Let me go grab that. So pretty close. I mean, not quite as dark, but still in the same color family. So um, yeah, I'm still going to wear it together. I think that they will look really good. Not that I'm one for matching up my bag and my shoes. I'm not really, but um, I like sometimes to do that. So yeah, and both of these are in a six and a half, and they will be a part of my summer shoe try-on haul thing. I don't anticipate getting any more products. I haven't placed another order um, because I want to take a break from the hauls for a bit. I'm kind of hauled out, as is my bank account. So I did my mango try-on haul. Uh, I did the try-on bits today. 
there were some definite home runs in that haul and there were some definite no's in that haul and a couple of in-betweens. I think I'm going to end up returning half of it, which is okay. I'm par for the course, I think. I'm excited to show that mango haul to you guys. I think that you will really, really enjoy it. You know, and because of that haul, they're on my radar now and I'll be getting more products from them because I really, really liked what I tried on. Now I am going to go downstairs. I'm going to be shooting that margarita, a margarita video for you. I think I mentioned it a little earlier. All right, everyone. So I think I'm going to call it for the day. I know I had said I was going to make margaritas, but my tummy is not doing so well at the moment. So I'm going to hold off on that until tomorrow. Hopefully I will be feeling better regardless of whether I am or not. I will show you how to make an or spicy orange margarita. That's what I'm calling it. And uh, so anyway, um, we will try this again tomorrow. And uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog for the day here. And I'll see you in the morning. Good morning and happy Friday. End of the week. Woohoo! Uh, it's got a busy day though. I've got, we've got a couple of appointments today. Uh, my partner has an eye appointment as do I, but they're separated by a few hours. I'm going along just in case they administer those little drops and I've got to drive home and vice versa. <clears throat> so our day is going to be kind of eaten up by those two appointments. Yeah, I'm working on editing today's video, getting the finishing touches put on there. I linked it. Oh my gosh, there's so many product links and today's video. It's a Mother's Day gift guide and you guys will have already seen it by the time this vlog posts but but uh, just a bunch of ideas that I had around ideal gifts for mom. I always love doing gift guides because it gives me a chance to shop and look around and you know see what's out there. I'm feeling better today than I was yesterday but still probably um uh, a little bit delicate in the tummy so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make the margarita recipe but I don't know that I'm gonna actually drink it but uh, I'm looking forward to it I've been looking forward to it all week I've gotten some of the stuff prepared for it and uh, so yeah I'm gonna show you my outfit for the day we are back to cooler weather today it's about 50 degrees and rainy so I am wearing a cardigan I'm wearing the little lace cami that I got from H&M. Can you tell that I really like some of the stuff that I got from H&M because I'm like, I'm wearing it right away. I am wearing the little lace cami. I am wearing my little cardigan from Eloqui. I don't know if this is still available in this color or in any color, honestly, but if it is, I will have it linked. And then I am doing a repeat on the pant. I am re-wearing my uh, black wide leg pants um, just because I like them so much. And right now I'm barefoot. And of course, my mules. Uh, my loafer mules because they are just, you know, comfortable. They cover my feet enough that I don't have to worry too much about them getting wet since it is rainy outside. Sticking with a bunch of neutrals um, just because it is that kind of day. Let me go ahead and flip you around so you can see my jewelry. My jewelry are some of my standbys. I'm wearing my little mini gold hoop earrings from Madewell. These work very, very well with masks because they're small, but yet still visible and they're completely closed so they make a full loop um, and that way my mask doesn't get hooked in behind the earring or anything like that and then I am wearing my trusty uh, chunky gold chain from Express with my bamboo initial necklace that I got from Amazon. That is the outfit du jour. I'm going to go ahead and close up my laptop and go downstairs. I am taking my laptop with me just in case. Um, I Well, I'll have time for editing in the car. I don't need to be online for that. So I'm going to be trying to make the most of my time while I am out and about. Anyway, I will talk with you guys again later. It has been quite a day. Went to the eye doctor. Thankfully, my eyes haven't changed much, just the reading prescription, but my distance vision apparently is doing really, really good. I have been spending the entire day working on editing, posting to like to know it. I'm waiting to upload the video for today, which is the Mother's Day gift guide. I'm, uh, it's uploading right now on YouTube. 
I will be recording the margaritas here in a few minutes, but thought I would check in since you hadn't heard from me all day long. Oh my gosh. Normally, I would have recorded me picking some glasses, but the optometrist was pretty strict about you know, the capacity in his little office. And uh, they didn't want us to touch the glasses or anything like that, which is totally understandable. I feel much, much better now. Um, I think I have averted some disaster where my gut is concerned. Ever since my appendicitis, my gut has been a little bit really sensitive. Uh, and I really, really need to focus on my gut health. And I've got to do some research though, because I really... I really don't know much about gut health all except that, you know, probiotics are good, fiber is good, and maybe that's all there is to know. Um, but uh, I want to do research and, um, you know, eat a lot more fiber, maybe take a supplement um, as my gastroenterologist recommended. <laughs> years ago and that way I can get my gut health in order. All right, let me go ahead and get to my video and I'll talk with you here in a few minutes. Okay, so I totally realize that I am kind of far away from the camera and the counter right now, but it's really all about what's happening here on the counter. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you down so that you can see what I'm doing, you can see my hands. I'm gonna be talking as I do it. It's all about what's happening right here. So hold on. All right, so um, I've got all my ingredients. I haven't really juiced anything yet. Um, this is gonna be an orange margarita and I will walk you through what I am doing as I do it. Um, I'm gonna start out by juicing some oranges. Now this particular recipe is only going to be for one margarita. <clears throat> it's not gonna be for a batch. However, I will leave the batch recipe in the description box below. You can use already prepared orange juice. You don't have to fresh squeeze, but I find that fresh squeeze is best. Um, I just think that it is fresher, it tastes better, and you're just gonna get a lot more deliciousness out of your margarita. But if you wanna buy already squeezed orange juice, by all means do. So what we're doing is we are doing two ounces of orange juice, fresh squeezed. So we've got ourselves one ounce here. It looks like it will equate to about one medium sized orange. I wanted to do something a little bit different. I didn't wanna go with the standard lemon lime margarita and I had some oranges that I needed to use up. So um, that's the perfect opportunity to um, use your produce. All right, so let's see here. And we've got two ounces here. I'm just gonna throw in the remainder. I mean, there are no real rules here. You can do what you want. Um, so next I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna uh, add about one ounce of lime juice. And the reason that I'm adding the lime juice is because I like a little bit of acidity in my drinks. I don't like for them to be, this is a dry lime. This is more just to add a little punch of acidity. And in this case, I may grab my reamer. I have got a multitude of juicing. Now I do know that because this lime is pretty dry, I'm gonna get about maybe a half an ounce of lime juice, which is fine. I just want a little hit of acidity in the margarita. I don't wanna have to um, have the sweetness. And I always feel like I said that you should have a little bit of acidity in your drink. You don't want a really super sweet drink unless, you know, that is exactly what you're going for. But margaritas aren't a super sweet drink. So I've got my juices in the shaker. Now to add the liquor, I'm gonna add two ounces of, I'm add, adding gold tequila. Really you can use any, but I wouldn't use your fancy tequilas for this because it's kind of like a, a like a, a martini. If you're doing something like an apple martini or a pear martini, you don't want to use your best vodka for those. The best vodka is saved for the straight up um, vodka martini. Same goes here. The straight up tequila is better for shooting or, or sipping. I am adding a an ounce of orange liqueur. I use triple sec because I don't have Grand Marnier or Cointreau. Um, and triple sec, again, because this is a margarita, and it's mixed with other things. I don't necessarily want to use the use the really expensive stuff, although you can go top, top shelf and go with a Grand Marnier or something like that. All right, and we have one ounce of triple sec. I am going to add a little bit of simple syrup to the recipe just because I want to be sure that I get a hit of spice. Now I have made this simple syrup last night. I'll show you the footage as I'm talking about it. It is simply one part water to one part sugar 
and that is a simple syrup. If you wanted to make a straight up syrup, it would be two parts sugar to one part water. Um, but this is a simple syrup. So we are adding a little bit of that and we are going to add a half of an ounce, okay? And this is delicious. I tasted it last night after it cooled. Oh my goodness, it was so good, but not overly spicy. You're just gonna get a really nice hit of pepper. Now I am going to add some ice. All right, so I've got my ice here. I'm gonna add it to the shaker. And then I'm just gonna give it a stir. And then I've got my glass here sitting in a little container that I have. I've got the little platter of sugar. I've got a little platter of the liquid with a sponge. This is a special tool that I got from Williams-Sonoma, no big. Essentially, all you need is a couple of saucers, one with water or lime juice and one with um, sugar. I like using turbinado sugar because I just like the coarseness of it. Using a standard margarita glass. I am a rocks girl, so I am going to go ahead and just pour that into the glass. There goes our margarita. Let's give her a try. Cheers. Mmm. Ooh. That hit of pepper is very nice with the sweetness of the orange. And you have just enough lime to cut through it. Oh yeah. That's good. So, make yourself one of these. I will have a recipe in the description box for the batch. Um, or you can make yourself a single or singles if you choose to. Um, the batch that I'm going to have in the description box is going to be for four margaritas and feel free to multiply it as many as as many times as you want. Um, but this is delicious. This is like a grown up orange aid. I love it. Thank you as always for supporting me, for watching my channel, for watching my vlogs. If you made it all the way through to the end, leave me an orange emoji. And I will see you in my next upload. Thank you as always. Remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. Bye.